Hey there. <laughs> this is the punishment what? for wearing blue, apparently. <laughs> what? If you ever wear blue, you invite Waluigi. It's it's like some type of uh, ritual type of thing, but don't worry about it. It's because, like, I'm wearing red and you're wearing blue, so, like, it mixes and it makes a purple magic. Yes. Oh, and we're jumping right into it. Toffee versus Kuro. Um, so... Technically, these two have played a lot um, because uh, Kura's in the Lawrence area a lot of times mm -hmm. during breaks, and uh, that's kind of Toffee's stomping ground usually. Mm -hmm. So this, this is also a character that Toffee knows really well. Also true. Now, on the other hand, I'm not sure how familiar uh, Kura is with Sora. Uh, still kind of a relatively new character. Obviously, going to always be the newest character to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been kind of a month in, so a lot of counterplay has come out, and uh, I'm excited to see how this kind of plays. Yeah. Uh, I, I'd want to see it, too, because I feel like right now I'm mostly just seeing, like, Toffee doing really good Diddy counterplay. Yeah. I really did like the uh, counter that he used on the banana, mm -hmm. uh, because, like, Sora's counter doesn't, like, reflect the uh, banana back. It just kind of makes the banana his, but he does still do the, like, uh, little hitbox, so that was pretty neat. Right. And, like, the slowdown probably keeps it safe at that room. Yep, yep. Um, you know, I, I, w I was talking Ooh. about, like, how good Toffee was doing, but, like, <laughs> Kuro took the first stock. Yeah, the uh, commentators curse it. It works very fast. <laughs> but that up be going <laughs> to even out the stocks. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's looked pretty even so far. Ooh, okay. That was a little cute sword combo, but... Yeah, like, optimized sword is kind of crazy. You can rack it a lot... Uh, you can rack on a lot of damage very quickly. And it's only, like, what, month two or th something of, like, this character? Yeah, yeah. Really, it... He has had, he's kind of has this Steve effect, not to the same effect, but like, you know, a lot of people are passionate about Sora, so mm -hmm. the people really want to make him good, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like the mix that uh, Toffee went for there. That's just kind of the name of the game with Sora. You just mix with your first hits, first two hits Ooh. of the aerials, oh. and the fade back F smash. Tried and true, but, you know, hits all the same. Ooh, but Kura not letting up. You know, if Kura kind of takes the stock, it'll even right back up. Oh, oh. That's di like Diddy's weakness, though. It's like, uh, God, <laughs> I'm not going to talk. I'm <laughs> talking. <laughs> but it really is a uh, valid weakness. Sometimes mm -hmm. Diddy can't, like, seal out stocks. Like, there's a golden percentage where, like, all of your kill confirms work. Right. And then there's a sad percentage where it doesn't work for the rest of the stock. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm really surprised Diddy, like, is doing so well now. I mean, it makes sense that it took some time. Uh, yeah. Because, like, you know, just, get, like you said, finding, like, the, and learning the perfect window where, like, you can just get your kills. Yo. Or, you know, you could just, you could just control, you could just control the whole stage. And eventually <laughs> they'll just, like, be in a position where they can't do anything. That was wild. Like... We were just talking, and I didn't realize that Toffee was so close to death. And then the F smash hit, and the game's over. We're here. Game two. I, Diddy Sora was not a game I was expecting to not give me enough time to talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because like I was, I wanted to talk about like Diddy is a character that like is very neutral heavy in a game where like neutral has all been abandoned. But <laughs> I feel like all the but, yeah, yeah. But I feel like people have reached like a level of skill and optimization that like these characters are able to do more. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. It's crazy because, like you said, Diddy's a neutral character, but he kind of found his way into the meta when his punish game got better, when people mm -hmm. found out the more optimal punishes right. and crazy damage he can do. Because he mean, needed to keep up in this game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, like, of course, neutral's going to be good. Like, all the good characters have good neutral. Um, anyway, speaking of characters <laughs> with good neutral and, yeah. like, very good punish game, we got the man, the myth, the legend, Mega Man. No, that's Proto Man. You're right. True, true, true. He's cooler. He is very much cooler. He has a shield on his back. Don't you see? I, I respect that he owns a shield and decides not to use it. Yeah, it's pretty honorable. It's like how Falcon never uses the gun on his hip. Right, exactly. <laughs> no lame stuff. Just... Actually, I'm not sure how much a, <laughs> well, like a like a like a like a like a bunch of laser weapons is like more honorable than a shield. Yeah. I just hate shields. Shields are pretty whack. All right, so, so far, nothing crazy has happened yet. 
I was hoping something crazy would happen as soon as I said that, but it's not that strong. Whenever you want the commentator well, to curse, like, like, right, re like, you know, for us, like, this whole match, uh, the commentator curse takes about, like, 10 seconds. But oh, I true. guess it didn't kick in this time. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope, not yet. But you see, they're just playing around that banana because that's kind of the kind of the fulcrum that right. neutral is going to be played around, especially in these uh, like high percentage situations. Because mm -hmm. that a percentage for like a banana for either of them is just going to be death. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kurt. Oh, I like the idea. Yeah, trying to hit with the splash effect of the start of Uppy. Um, Oh, does that kill? No. Okay. Usually... I have no faith in Diddy killing. <laughs> I should. Especially against Mega Man of all characters, but that back air didn't take it. Kura living with a crazy DI, and this is where you can enact the KC Classic. Living to 167, and then putting on a bunch of damage. That was a really smart roll to get the... Died wow. anyways. But yeah. That was a really smart roll a little bit ago to get the... Uh, um, Oh, what's it called? Is it called Crash Bomber? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crash Bomber on, uh, Toffee. Yeah, it's really cool, like, counterplay you can play with, the uh, Crash Bomber. Like, you can stick it on the stage, you can stick it onto your opponent. Right. You can kind of use it like grenade if it's stuck on you. It just, like, holds shield. Like your snake. This is fun to watch. I think you were right about, like, how these people know each other. Because, like, <laughs> or at the very least, like, they're, they're very good about playing around each other's character. Yeah, there most definitely are some, like, Havoc. Well, honestly, I'm going to be honest. I haven't seen too many, like, Havoc callouts you would see of, like, people who've played each other a lot, a lot. But I think it's just, like, just really solid understanding of how to play the matchup. And yeah. that's more fun for me, I'm going to be honest. Fair enough, yeah. I, I, I'm enjoying this set. I'm watching people just, like, slug it out, be smarter and neutral <laughs> instead of just fishing for cheese. Yeah, yeah. I mean... We saw a lot of Steve with yesterday <laughs> at Smash Cafe, so this is a breath of fresh air. <laughs> oh, yeah, has to be careful there. Like, Toffee can really just rob your stock here if you choose the wrong defensive options. Especially because, like, if Kura has to recover from far, like, Diddy is a recovery that I feel like is not free, but, like, mm. decently easy to time. Because you, you just have so much time to react it. Ooh, right into the F smash. Damage is starting to rack up, and this is bad. You don't. This is how Mega Man plays his game. He sits at 123 and racks up damage on, and starts to overlap you in percent and in stocks. Man. Oh, but Kerr finally gets in. Gets down till dash attack. That's a lot of damage, but it's not what you need. The pinnacle kill is what you're looking for here. Oh my gosh, is that connected? Oh man, this doesn't look good. Yeah, Kerr's having just like... The the, time. <laughs> was, was he trying to parry that? That would have been raw, but at least they shielded it and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, didn't get decimated yeah. here. I feel like I feel like Kerr's been recovering high a lot, spe like probably specifically to avoid uh, both the ledge trap game and the... Um, whatever down air is called. Yeah, hard, hard knuckle? knuckle? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we love our Mega Man moves. Yeah, me and Sydney were watching Mega Man speedruns earlier. They're pretty dope. Have you ever seen uh, Mega Man powered up? Like, what do you mean by that? Okay, so you know how Brilliant Diamond and, what is it, Shining Pearl? Pearl yeah. like, like, let's remake this old game and make everyone a baby. Yeah. Mega Man did that first. Oh, <laughs> like, I did not make know Mega that. Man one, <laughs> add two more characters, and make everyone baby. But it has voice acting. It's cute. Oh, that's wrong. Get to play his role. Also, oh, just smack people with a broom. <laughs> that's where those like little chibi Mega yes, Man characters come yes, from. Yes, okay, they're so okay. adorable. Yeah, dude, I love the little. And all the chibi. music just sounds like 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 newer Yoshi game music, <laughs> where it's like, hey, baby game music. <laughs> <laughs> but like even more so, like I'm talking like Yoshi's story, like baby, <laughs> like <laughs> Yoshi's Woolly World type. Be, like the only world has like the dignity of a toddler <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay that's you know, okay a toddler that's like learning from like her, his mom or their mom that like you know makes arts and crafts <laughs> learning to useful skills instead of just you know, know it's like singing terribly <laughs> like a yoshi story <laughs> <laughs> oh man so we're running just straight back just a bunch of edgy boys all black skins this Oh, they didn't mean to do Battlefield. 
That's funny. That's funny. God, this this the hoodie Diddy skins crack me up. It makes me <laughs> almost not hate Diddy anymore. Dude, I love the hoodie. That's so cool. My favorite is the Son Goku one. because <laughs> I like I'm just like a Monkey King stand. Oh, actually, I didn't even put two and two together. That's actually kind of raw. Yes. <laughs> like it's super fitting that he's a has a Son Goku hoodie. Yeah, I thought it was just haha funny anime hoodie, but <laughs> I mean that's, that's probably the actual reason. Probably. The Monkey King is like a super cultural icon like in let's say Japan like it is yeah. in, let's say Japan yeah all right, all right. on regular hollow bastion <laughs> I'm so happy this this stage came out at first I was like I don't know if I'm gonna like it but then I'm like ah long stage with the platform <laughs> in the middle yeah this is perfect almost too perfect it was. I missed like the two weeks where like uh, this was the starter instead of PS2. Yeah, and I also like. I will miss that it's not Hazard's on because we don't get the freaking dive to heart at the last stock. Uh, why do you think Kura picked this stage? Good question. Um, they did like a lot of room. Uh, they really like stage real estate, and this is just like how the player plays. But oh wow! But maybe the middle platform it does help Diddy a good mm -hmm. amount. But I don't know. Anything you get for Diddy would probably help out Mega Man just as right. Much. The space, like a like a nice long platform to hide under. Mm-hmm. Especially like really low. You could just like turtle under it so easily. And like they both cover so much horizontal space, but like Mega Man just does it better. He doesn't need to pull banana to do it. True. I mean, at the same time though, Diddy's banana is transcendent, so mm -hmm. it helps out a lot in that Wait, regard. Repeat that sentence, because I think I just learned something. <laughs> banana is transcendent. It goes through all projectiles. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. That's why the freaking Z drop dare is so lethal because gonna, you really can't do anything about it. He's gonna tell me like gyro is transcendent. Or something. Uh, no, that would be god awful. <laughs> oh, this is transcendent banana is still pretty awful. Yeah. I think the only well, I mean, there's a couple others. Like I think one of Cloud. I think one of the blade beams is transcendent. Probably limit. Uh, blade beam, mm -hmm. and then Probably. wolf gun, wolf lasers transcend it. Uh, I hate that gun. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, something I noticed is uh, Kura has been like covering high this whole time to avoid, like I said, ledge trapping, hard knuckle. But yeah. I feel like with that earlier, um, oh, whatever the uppercut is called, and like yeah. uh, a bunch of other stuff, Toffee's like a lot better at covering it now. Yeah, and that's the thing, Toffee. He's gonna adapt. I mean, both of these players have kind of done a little bit of adaptation of their own, but. Uh, something that he kind of banked on a lot in the first couple of games is now starting to bite Kura. Mm -hmm. Oh man, yeah, we are just neutral in it out. We got our items out. Bananas on deck. Yeah, you see Kura's... Oh, they Ooh. both up smash. <laughs> wait, wait! <gasps> no! No! Went either <laughs> way! I was on the That's edge so of my seat. Unfortunate. That could have went either way because like the crash bomber sent Kura up. They could have up aired if it connected, but alas. Yeah. I think it's just like because uh, Kura's percent was so high that it was just yeah that it happened. But what's crazy is that Kura's technically not out the game. I mean, this is exactly where Mega Man wants to be. Toffee loves playing from these positions. Mm -hmm. But if Kura can sneak in like a banana up smash, maybe banana back air at the ledge. I have a question. Did, were you you were were you here for the Smash Four days? Uh, very tail end of Smash Four. I feel like I could tell that you're you're mostly like a an ultimate player. If you're like, yeah, Toffee just loves to sit on these leads, and I'm like, you you did not know Smash Four Toffee. I do yeah. know I do know that he was very infamous of his comebacks because he played Ryu, and mm -hmm. that character kills you at he twenty. Not, but now he he, he lives in KC. He just yeah. slowly turned to the same monster everyone is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he's, he's he is just like so good at this this uh um sort of safe uh good neutral never dying game plan that's yeah. like the KC classic. Jeez, and the F smash not killing it, you know. <laughs> not charging. I think that keeps you from hating that F smash is knowing that uh, Olimar exists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just this. <laughs> oh, and I guess Min Min, but well, we you know. don't talk about that. That's not a projectile. That's, That's just not a projectile. <laughs> but man, That's not punishable. Yeah. Maybe, probably not. <laughs> well, 
that was a really good set. I mean, mm -hmm. taking the number one to kind of limit's edge. Yeah, it, like many Casey sets, took five bajillion years, but it was five bajillion years that I enjoyed a lot more than a lot of other matchups. <laughs> yeah, to be honest. Oh, for sure. For it's, sure. it's 